going to repent and believe the gospel. They're not going to bother them to repent, to believe the blessed Christian, believe the Redeemer of all men. The Lamb of God, the Lamb of God will save you from the wrath to come. You can be saved from the wrath of God. You can be saved from the ways of the sin. Jesus Christ took sin on the cross. He took your sin on the cross. And he's asking you to just believe in Him. Believe in the Messiah. Believe in the resurrection. Jesus resurrected from the dead. According to scripture, He was buried, so He was buried and resurrected the third day. And He was seen by 500 witnesses. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. He was dead. Behold, now He's alive forevermore. He holds the keys. He holds the keys of death and of hell. He has the keys of death and hell. And Jesus Christ will give us keys to the kingdom. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell will not prevail. Hallelujah. Over the church. His bride. See Jesus Christ is the first of you. The head of the church. And the church will have dominion over everything under heaven. So this is the plan of God. Are you part of God's plan? Are you part of God's plan? Because... You have to follow God and be a, God, be a part of God's plan. You have to follow the sheep, follow the good shepherd. David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord should be your shepherd. If you can be a sheep following Christ. You should not be following your friends. You should not be following the world. You should be following the good shepherd. If you belong to him, you should be following him. Jesus Christ told his disciples, follow me. Jesus Christ said, follow me. Are you following Jesus? Are you following Jesus with all your heart, all your soul, man? Are you following Jesus? Because it's a commandment. You cannot be led by the Lord, or you be led by. Jesus Christ said, he is the light of the world, and those who walk with him will never walk in darkness. So who are you following? Are you walking in the light of God? Are you walking in the light of God? Because only the light of God can give you understanding. He can give you peace. You need to walk in the light of Christ. Only Jesus. Only Jesus can save us from the wrath to come. Only Jesus can save us from the wrath to come. Where is your sting? 
Real love is in Christ. What's your question? God bless you, man. Love you, man. God bless you. Both hands on the side. You gotta repent, man. You gotta repent. Man, I love you to tell you the truth. Make sure you come out of sin. You gotta come out of sin. There's no happiness, there's no love in sin. The world wants to promote sin because the world doesn't care. The world doesn't love you, folks. The world is lying to you. You got a question? Praise the Lord, man. Hallelujah. You got the track? You got the track? You got I'm, I'm trying to follow Christ. I'm not trying to be a nice man. I'm trying to get you to Christ. This is not about me. This is about Jesus. Come on, folks. Don't give me a hug. Give Jesus a hug. Don't give me a hug. Give Jesus a hug. Repent of your sin. Get on your knees and cross for God for mercy. Thank you for the hugs and high fives. But, man, go high five Jesus. Go read your Bible. Come on, folks. What are we doing? Come on. We got to get right with God. This is, this is urgent. This is important. You both need a relationship with God. You need to know who Jesus is. Jesus Christ should be your best friend. He should be your best friend. Is Jesus your best friend or not? Because he should be. He gave his life for his friend. The Bible says in John 15, 13, no greater love than this, the man gave his life for his friend. And Jesus says, you're my friend. If you do what I command you to. So are you a friend of God? Are you God's friend? Are you God's friend? Because God wants to be your friend. But God can't be friends with sinners. This is why God has to cleanse you from your sin. God was friends with Abraham, or Abraham was kind of righteous. Abraham was a righteous man. He could be a righteous man of God. You can be a righteous person of God. You don't have to be a drug dealer. You don't, you don't have to be a prostitute. No, no, no. You can be a righteous person of God. You can be a child of God. You can become a child of God. You can become a child of God, a child of God. Hallelujah. Because only Jesus, only Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. This is the only way. There's many ways to hell, but only one way to God. There's many ways to hell. Plenty of the ways to hell, but only one path to God. And that's through Jesus Christ. That's through the Messiah, the blood of Jesus. So it's time for us. It's time for us to repent. It's time for us to on the narrow path. It's time to get on the narrow road. Because the path of eternal life is very narrow. The path to Jesus is very, very narrow. And only few people will find it. Only few people go to heaven. And only few people actually love God. Why does most people do not care about God? They don't love God. They love their sin. They love their idols. But they have no love of God. And this is a problem, because love is the greatest gift. Love is the greatest gift. But why you thought, if you don't have love, you don't have God. If you don't have God, you don't have love. You can't love without God. You cannot love without God. You just can't do it. And many of you thought you're walking in lust and not love. You're walking in immorality and not righteousness. And this is why you got to turn away from that lifestyle of sin and turn back to the truth. Turn back to our Creator who created us, who formed us in our mother's womb, who formed us in our mother's belly, who knows every hair on our head. Turn back to this blessed Creator. Turn back to this mighty one, the Almighty, El Shaddai, Yahweh, the two of us, This is the part that we can come to. Because only He can redeem us. He only He can redeem us from the curse of the law. Jesus Christ became a curse for us. He became a curse for us. And now we can be blessed. Hallelujah. We can be blessed in the name of Yeshua.